September 19th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. I'm Michael Gargiulo. And Storm Team 4's Maria LaRosa is here with today's forecast. Seeing Maria dealing with this devastating effects yes. of yet another hurricane. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to show you that in a second. Let's get you ready for today as well. Uh, it is mild. It's muggy. It's 72 degrees right now. The radar and satellites really quiet. What we're waiting for for our weather today is a cold front still off to the west. You can see some showers and thunderstorms along with it. By the time this moves through, we're going to see our humidity come down. But ahead of it, we've got some partly cloudy skies and that warmth and humidity and a chance for some showers and storms as we get into the later part of the day. So planning your day first half fine 82 degrees by noontime. Clouds start to increase by late afternoon and evening. It's after that that we do have that chance for a few showers and storms. We've got another front coming later and hope you and your crew stay safe. We want to get to Adele Caballero now with a check of traffic and some early slowdowns. Adele, good morning. Good morning, Marie, or excuse me, Darlene. Uh, today is a gridlock alert day, of course, as we have been reporting. We've got the UN General Assembly in town. So every day this week, Monday through Friday, will be a gridlock alert day. Commuters are urged to stick to mass transit instead. Garden State Parkway right now, northbound express lanes are also closed north of exit 120 for accident investigation work. And of course, those streak. The loss of the long serving monarch and the arrival of the heads of State there in London will soon begin. So let's go. UN General Assembly in town. We've got plenty of street closures all throughout Manhattan. Stick with us. We're going to help you get around it all. Man who they say shot a tourist from Denmark over a one dollar bill happened yesterday thing you do also want to watch out for is the garden state parkway northbound the express lanes completely closed right now for accident investigation work this is north of exit 120 and now into manhattan here of course expect to see plenty of street closures commuters are strongly urged to stick to mass transit now these closures not limited to 41st street out to 57th street anywhere between the fdr drive and fifth avenue fdr drive anywhere from southbury all the way out to 63rd street all all of these streets and Midtown streets are subject to sporadic full yes. <laughs> like Las Vegas doesn't have enough, right? Yes. <laughs> One more reason yes. to love it. Yes. That's here. All right. Thanks so much. Right. I'm just looking at that map of street closures. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. happening? There's a big red square. <laughs> big on red that square map on the east side of Manhattan. Yeah, that's never a good okay, 426 now so had we're continuing to follow this continuing danger. Another hurricane at the center of which has moved away from Puerto Rico, but there are still effects. I'm going to show you that in a second. And for us here, we're watching a couple of things. It's going to be another rather summery afternoon, but there you see showers and thunderstorms through parts of Midwest and Ohio Valley. That's the mid and upper 80s. Sun and clouds through the midday, but if you're going to be out later afternoon and evening, pack the umbrella just in case. We've got some spotty, isolated showers and thunderstorms taking us from their live. Gabby Acevedo reporting for us. And Gabby, as I mentioned, that the back here checking on traffic. And Adele, you have some early slowdowns as well. Yes, we've got plenty going on, and this week is expected to be a very busy out there right now. Jackie Robinson Parkway eastbound by exit five away from the start of the funeral for Queen Elizabeth II. The world mourning the loss of the long serving monarch. The Queen's children are the royals set to arrive within the hour. We want to go live. One storm, but still producing torrential rainfall in Puerto Rico. The good news is by this afternoon and evening, really beginning to pull away from Puerto Rico. One storm, but still producing torrential rainfall in Puerto Rico. The good news is by this afternoon and evening, really beginning to pull away from Puerto Rico. Door. As a reminder, UN General Assembly begins today. Expect to see sporadic full closures all throughout Manhattan, especially the Midtown area. Anywhere from 41st Street out to 57th Street, FDR Drive out to 5th Avenue, FDR Drive anywhere from South Ferry all the way up to 63rd Street. Commuters are strongly urged to stick to mass transit instead. If you're heading out east, LIE westbound is also closed. Exit 63 out to exit 62 for an accident. You've also got an accident on the Grand Central eastbound over by exit 16 and the Jackie Robinson Parkway eastbound over by exit 5. We'll keep you posted on all that for now. Sending it back to you, Darlene. All right. The U.N. General Assembly, just as the Senate prepares to debate. Still to come, why shoppers can no longer skip the checkout line at Wegmans. We explain in today's CNBC Money. What are they cheering about? There's a Jets game. We thought the Jets had lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, He's a huge Jets fan. Oh, so, okay. Okay. Hey, so he was excited. There you go. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, looking okay right now. We're 